Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can quickly start composing music using the new Horuko app. Once we've created our chords, I'll then demonstrate how we can use the built-in cloud-based features to share the composition in real time with others. When the app starts, the first thing you need to do is to create a new project. After tapping the Add button, you can enter the name of your project. Here, I'll create a project called Cool Progression. After clicking the Create button, you are presented with the main composition page that displays a set of chords for your chosen scale. The first thing you need to do is to select the scale you want to use. This is a scale selection pop-up. Here I'll keep the diatonic major, which is a default selection. Once that's done, I need to choose the root note of the scale by scrolling the wheel. I'll pick F. I can press the play button to listen to the selected scale, which is useful especially when learning. What you can see now are all of the chords for each degree of the F major scale. On the bottom right of each chord icon, you'll see the degree of the chord within the scale in Roman numerals. The colour circle represents the mode of the chord, green represents major, purple minor and red diminished. The chords not in scale are visualised using a gradient colour, which we'll see in a moment. On the bottom of the page there is a timeline to which you can drag chords in order to create your chord progression. By tapping on each chord you can play it and visualise it on the keyboard. These sound chords, so I'll drag them to my timeline. To change the rhythm of the succession, you have to drag the line between the chords until you achieve the rhythm you want. You can still drag chords into this view if you want to add some. Let's listen to it. By pressing the name of the line you can change it and repeat the same line. Here I'll make the verse repeat a couple of times. To play them in succession, you can use the play button on the bottom bar. I think it needs speeding up a little, so I'll change the tempo to 220 and signature to 4 quarters. So now that I have my chosen chord progression and a good tempo, it's time to do some more in-depth editing of my chords to spice up things a little. Let me choose C. You can enter edit mode in two ways. One is through a long press, after which you are presented with a menu for editing or deleting the chords. Otherwise, a quicker way is just to do a double tap. Here you can change the root node of the chord. The ones with the green circle are the ones in key. You can also change the quality of the chord. Here again the green circle indicates that it remains in key. I'll choose minor. Now you see that the keyboard displays the out of key note in purple and there is also information to inform you that the out of key note is E flat. Now let's edit the D chord. Here we'll add a seventh chord extension and we'll explore the voicing panel. You can change the octave of each note within the chord. The right arrow moves the note up an octave and the left arrow down an octave. The copy button duplicates the note onto another octave and the delete button removes it. You can always look at the keyboard to see the position of your note. Let's listen to what we've created. As mentioned before, you can see that the C chord has a gradient color because it's no longer in key. To add a new line, you just have to press the Add button. Now that we've made a nice progression, it's time to spice it up a bit more. Let's go to the Performances page and select the Stock Performance. Performances are melodic expressions of chords played by musicians. When you select one, every chord in your composition will be played using it. Let's listen to it. It sounds good, but I'd like to make my own, so let's record one. 
Press the Make a New One button on the menu to open the keyboard page. This is the page where we record our custom performance. The coloured keys are the notes that make up the chords and the ones to use to record the performance. As we said earlier, when you choose a performance it gets applied to every chord. Here I press record and wait for the countdown until the interface has gone red. Let's listen to what we've recorded. I'll now add the pedal. Yes, it sounds better now, so let's give it a name so that we can save it. Horuko makes it very simple for us to test out the chord progression in a different key. If I choose the C major scale, you can see that it automatically transposes my chords to this new key. OK, I'd say that we're done, so let's save our project. Now what I'd like to do is to share my composition with my friend Mike, to have an online creative jam session and to get his thoughts. Horuko's cloud integration allows you to share projects with one or more people. You just need to enter the email address Mike used when he registered with Horuko. And now you can see that the project has been shared with Mike, who can see it in read-only mode. This is Mike's phone. Whenever a project is shared or sent to him, he'll receive an alert which allows him to choose whether he wants to accept the project. In this case, he accepts it and then opens it. When I make a change, you'll get it in real time I'll be able, and you'll be able to listen to it. Mike says that he would like to add a seventh on the second chord. Let's do it. Mike's now satisfied, so what I can do is to save my changes and actually send him a copy of the project, for which he then has full control over. All that remains is for us to export it to MIDI files so that we can edit it on our favourite digital audio workstation. This can be achieved by tapping Export to MIDI on the side menu. Thanks for listening and for choosing Horuko. Your feedback is always welcome and please follow us on our social channels if you'd like to remain updated.